If you've got a bottle of Amaro Montenegro on your back bar and you don't know what to make with it, keep watching on Let's Talk Drinks. Hi everybody, welcome back. So I'm going to make a drink called the Full Monty. This is a twist on another video that I did that was called a Reverse Manhattan. This is simple, it's three ingredient drink, it's stirred down and this is how you make it. So the first thing that I'm going to do is prepare my ice. This is served in a rocks glass over a block of ice. If you're wondering what I'm doing, I'm sitting my ice block onto my stamp. If you're wondering why I'm doing that, this is what it looks like somewhere on here. Customers love it, it looks pretty cool. Now the first ingredient that it calls for is 60 mils of Amaro Montenegro. If you're wondering what Amaro Montenegro is, check out the link at the end of this video. I'll tell you all about it. 60 mils, two ounces. Next up, we want a good rye. I'm using the gospel rye made here in Australia and 30 mils or one ounce. I really do love this stuff. It's so popular here at the 18th Amendment Bar. For my final ingredient, we need just a couple dashes of Angostura bitters. Doing a few more, this has got a small opening, so if you're using the Angostura bottle, just two dashes is plenty. Add some ice, and we'll give it a stir down. Hope you're all well. It is a beautiful morning here in Geelong, Australia at the moment. It's 23 degrees Celsius. I'm gonna to have to do some refreshing cocktails later on this afternoon as I'll be filming all day. All right, let's check out this ice. Ah, fantastic. Now I would normally not use my fingers if it was for a customer, but however, I'm drinking it myself, so it's totally fine. Just strained over a large block of ice, or even if you have some really nice sort of cube ice. For my garnish, just an orange twist. I want to release those essential oils over the top of the cocktail because it work really well, the orange with the Amaro Montenegro. And there you go, that's a full Monty. Let's give it a try. Wow, yum. Mm, first time I've tried this, by the way. Um, I really like how easy it is to drink. That's probably the first thing that I've noticed straight away, okay? You've got 60 mils of the Amaro with the 30 mils of rice. So for those of you that aren't used to a, a really stiff, uh, high alcohol cocktail, this is perfect for you. The flavor from the Amaro Montenegro is really working well with the, the spiciness from the rye. That Angostura bitters, just giving a little bit of complexity, you know, adding bitters to a cocktail. I, I normally say it's like adding salt and pepper to your food when you're seasoning it. The orange twist, perfect. Just that really nice, the oils from the oranges coming through. It's a really easy to drink. Yeah, wow. The, the flavor from the Amaro Montenegro is coming through. I'm getting that clove, that orange, it's a very well balanced cocktail and I've got a lot of flavors, uh, like layers of flavors coming through. I definitely suggest that you give this a try. It is called the, the Full Monty. I don't know who created it, um, but it's a very good drink. Guys, please like, subscribe. See you again soon on Let's Talk Drinks.